ECDL Advanced Access Lesson 8 Look Up a Table In the last lesson we looked at lookup fields and we said there were two options. In the last lesson we looked at the first option which is the one in which the possible values for the field are manually typed into the field definition. It is also possible for a lookup field to look up values from a different table in the database. This can be useful to maintain integrity between tables. For example, a table of customer orders may contain a customer field. If this is made a lookup field to the customer table, orders can only be entered for a customer who's already on the customer table. If you open the customer computer's database, and then display the repairs table in design view, so view, design view. The engineer field is to be changed to a lookup field. So click in the engineer field and from data type choose lookup wizard. This time choose the option I want the lookup field to get the values from another table or query and then click Next. Select the Engineers table and then click Next. And then select Engineer name from available fields on the left and click the single arrow to select it. Click Next. For the purposes of what we're doing I'm not concerned about the sorting so click Next again. The column width looks acceptable, so click Next. For the label, the label engineer is correct, so leave it as it is. And then click Finish to create the lookup field. When you're prompted to save the table, click Yes. OK, let's switch to Datasheet View. View, Datasheet View. If we click on any engineer field and then click the drop down arrow, we will find that only the names from the engineers table will be available. Just to check that's the case, let's look at the engineers table and we will see it's precisely the same six names that were offered in the drop-down. OK, at that stage we've finished the lesson, so please close the table and close the database. In the next lesson we're going to discuss default values. OK, I look forward to seeing you then.